you can create subplots within a single plot window using the subplot function. The subplot function has three arguments. The first two arguments, m and n, determine how the plotting window will be subdivided. It will be subdivided into m rows and n columns. The last argument, p, refers to the location of a particular cell. So if m is 2, n is 3, we have two rows, three columns. We start in the upper left cell, and this will be the p equals 1 cell. p will increase in row order. So the cell to the right will be p is 2. The cell to the right of that will be 3. Then we go down to the next row. The lower left cell is 4. Then as we go right, we get to the fifth, and then the sixth cell. So here's an example. We give some values for x, and then we say y is x squared, w is x cubed, t is x to the fourth. So we use a subplot function to divide our plotting window into two rows and two columns. Then we say we want to examine the first cell, which is the upper left cell. And in that cell, we are going to plot y versus x. So there'll be a single plot of y versus x in this particular cell. Then we say subplot again. And now we're referring to the second cell, or the cell in the upper right corner. In that cell, we are going to plot w versus x. Then we go to the third cell, which is the lower left cell. And there we're going to plot w versus y. Finally, we go down to the fourth cell, which is the lower right cell, and we're going to plot w versus t. In this example, I create some values for x. y is x squared, w is x plus 2, t is square root of x. So I use the subplot command to divide the plotting window into two rows, three columns, and in the p equals 1 location, which is the upper left corner, I'm going to plot y versus x with this formatting. I'm also going to add to that particular plot a label on the y-axis that, say, that says y-vals. So let's execute this code and we'll talk about it some more. And that's indeed what we see. We see y-vals, we see a red line with x's at all the data points. Let's go back to our code. We see that subplot is issued again, the command, uh, function subplot is ex uh, issued again. Again, we divide the window up into two rows, three columns, and at the third location, in the upper right location, we plot w versus x. We also add a label saying w vals. We then have the window divided again into two rows, three columns, and in the sixth location, which is the lower right location, we are going to plot t versus x with a green line using x at all the data points. And we're also going to have a y label that says t. Notice that in this example we still have three blank locations or cells left. We haven't filled them up with anything, so nothing is displayed in these blank spaces. I'm going to make a change to my code, a small change. I'm going to change this last subplot function to say 2, 1, and 2. And then we're going to redisplay the subplots. So going back to our code, we see that the first subplot command divides the window into six locations. Two rows, three columns, so one, two, three, four, five, six. 
In the first location, we're going to plot y versus x, and that's what we see here. Subplot is issued again, and we divide the window up into six cells, two rows, three columns. And in the third location, we are going to plot w versus x. Now, we divide the window into two rows and one column with the last subplot command. So here's row one and here's row two. In the second row, we are going to plot t versus x, and that's what we see here. So you can divide up the window many times in many different ways to display the information and the other plots any way you like.